Welcome back. Um, I got to start this off by saying that our producer has, his wife has strep throat. So I was almost not going to do this tonight because I'm leaving to go out of town for a couple of weeks and I don't want to be sick. I don't do sick very well. Like, it's not my thing. I try to avoid it at all costs. That's, you know, that's why I have rubber latex gloves on right now. I would have had a mask if I could find one. I don't want to touch anything. It's just I don't want streptococcus in my throat. <laughs> so, so if I get strep, I did this shit for y'all, man. I did this shit for y'all. <laughs> um, and I'll hate you all for it as well. <laughs> anyway, but I knew. I didn't even notice you had those on. <laughs> Now that you notice, it makes it makes you want me to finger your butthole with them on, right? No. <laughs> no. No. Why not? I don't know. I just prefer a bear. Ew, 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 a bear ew. finger. A bear finger. Yes. Bears have claws, dude. <laughs> Even better. Oh God, damn, bitch! <laughs> Jesus. All right, that was weird. Um, <laughs> so can you unlock your phone with I, those on? I can. I was very surprised. I can actually. It actually picks up my my fingers on there. Your fingerprint? Well, no, it doesn't pick up my fingerprints. So why do you think I carry these in my toy bag? <laughs> how does it no know to unlock No fingerprints, no DNA. What are you talking about? <laughs> I just get. So how does it know? I don't know. I'm not a phone. That's so crazy. It's probably an, it's probably an iPhone thing. <laughs> Droid users have no idea what we're talking about. Because <laughs> <laughs> mine won't work. Like if I just put lotion on or something, mine won't unlock. Really? Yeah. Like I or like my hands are always very sweaty and clammy, and sometimes they it just won't unlock because <laughs> it's so sweaty. Does that make good, uh, for good hand jobs? <laughs> I mean, I don't really get hand jobs. That's the right guess... answer. That was the right answer. <laughs> that was the right answer. Oh, good. Okay, I passed. <laughs> um, yeah, I just knew if we didn't do this tonight that they would fucking lose their shit because it's been a couple weeks since we posted one anyway. Um, so hopefully I don't get stripped because <laughs> I really, really, really don't want it. But, like, being sick is, like, one of the only drawbacks of not dating. It really is, for me, at least. Because <laughs> like, when I'm sick, I'm a mess. Like, just, and I got, you know, I ain't got nobody to take care of me. <laughs> like, I lay in bed and stay there as long as I can until it's gone. That's true. That's what I do, too. It's the fucking <laughs> worst. I want to die. <laughs> yep. The fucking worst. <laughs> It's like, man, I should, I, sometimes I'm like, I should just like call a hooker up and pay her to come over here and just take care of me. <laughs> just like bring me drinks. and. But you have to get up and let her in. I could do that's that. The I, could, I could do I could, that. That's so hard. It, it, is, it is hard, but <laughs> if she's going to take care of me properly, like properly, <laughs> you know what I mean? Head to toe. That's all right then. <laughs> I'll get out of bed for that. <laughs> um. So I just got back from the Midwest. First of all, I lost all my fucking notes that that we have in our little chat because I'm on my third iPhone X in two months <laughs> because <laughs> iPhone's amazing. So I just had to get a third one. <laughs> I just kept returning them and getting another one um, because they're amazing, obviously. <laughs> so <laughs> I lost everything. So I don't really remember much of what I had in here. Um, I do have a few little screenshots from you, but they're so confusing because I'm reading them from your phone. So I'm like, I didn't say that. I don't talk like that. The fuck is this? Um, but one thing I want to say, I just got back from the Midwest, St. Louis to be more accurate. What a fucking shithole the Midwest is. <laughs> oh my god! I know we just lost a shitload of fucking listeners, but you know what? If we lost listeners because that's just because you know it's true. That place sucks. <laughs> the Midwest sucks. I'm sorry. Chicago's alright. The rest of it. I've never been anywhere in there. You ain't missing shit. 
<laughs> Nothing. I want to go. I want to go. Don't. Save your money. <laughs> Telling you. Yo, I witnessed some shit out there, though. <laughs> I don't really use Tinder, but I use it to waste time sometimes. Sometimes I'll, like, meme some of these bitches just because. But I have never seen a bigger travesty in my life. <laughs> the amount of fucked up eyebrows. I was on that shit like, holy shit, every single one. Do none of you bitches know how to do a fucking eyebrow? <laughs> oh none God. of you? It was horrendous. <laughs> oh, my God. I never seen nothing like it. <laughs> this shit blew my fucking mind. <laughs> over and over and over again, it was like every single bitch. I was like, how is this possible? <laughs> Are all of you retarded? Do none of you own a mirror? They don't have they don't have mirrors in the Midwest apparently. <laughs> like, so fucking bad, so bad. And then I fucking go. And then I'm flying home. This I do remember. I forget what I said. What did I? What did I say? I don't know. <laughs> Something Which about one? punching someone while they eat. <laughs> what? Oh, punchy punch for eating dumb. Punch for eating dumb. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love my notes. They're amazing. Um, I'm on the plane flying home. And this fucking guy is sitting next to me, and he's eating like this big ass muffin, and he's like eating it like a fucking apple, like really weird, <laughs> really fucking weird, really like over animated. I just kept looking. I'm like, I, I just want to punch you in the fucking face. Like, stop eating like that. What's wrong with you? <laughs> it's not cool. <laughs> That's so weird. I know someone that does that, and it's so weird. I wonder how he eats pussy. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> oh, my God. Stop. <laughs> oh, okay. I, yeah, I wanted to punch him in the face. I did. <laughs> okay, that reminds me of my note. Drinking game. So someone messaged me. That they listen to the podcast mm. and like with their friends, and they turn it into a drinking game. Oh and they god! Drink, <laughs> they drink every time I say "Oh my god," <laughs> which is basically every thirty Whoa, seconds. Whoa, they're fucking hammered! <laughs> and every time, oh you my god! Say bitch. And every time you say "bitch," <laughs> I hope they're playing it right now, bitch. Bitch, bitch, <laughs> bitch, 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 bitch. You're welcome. That's hilarious. Like, don't play that game. You're going to die. That's a good game. <laughs> we should, we should like, market that. <laughs> um, let's see. What else we got in here? <sighs> oh, vasectomies came up. It comes up from time to time. People... Decide, you know, it's, I mention abortion, and all of a sudden, why don't you just get a vasectomy? Uh, why don't you mind your motherfucking business? How about <laughs> I don't want somebody down there in my balls with a fucking knife? How about that? Oh my god! Y'all worried about my fucking dick and balls so goddamn much? Don't worry about what I do with my life, my dick or my balls. I got this covered. I I promise you, I got this shit covered. Y'all don't need to message me. You don't need to tell me what a vasectomy is, what it does. I don't give a fuck. Ain't nobody coming near my fucking balls with a fucking knife. And if it is, if they are, it's probably a woman. And I probably deserve it. But the sex is probably really good. So. We're not going to talk about vasectomies anymore. Okay? I felt like we already talked about it once. We did. We did. Okay, and awesome. I feel like the way that I answered it was was are you wearing gray sweats yeah i always wear gray sweats what are you talking about oh my god i just noticed these are actually brand new i just got them today <laughs> oh my god it's winter time what do you want it's fucking cold out here it's fall there is no such thing as fall it just goes from summer winter spring summer well, not in California, it doesn't. We have a fall, and it's fall. So then how should I dress next week when I'm out there? Oh, next week, I don't know. You'd have to look. <laughs> Bitch, it's fall. It's probably like upper 70s, low 80s. Oh, fuck, yeah. Nice. 
<laughs> See, <laughs> I told you. Hell yeah, I'm still bringing gray sweats though. <laughs> what is Big Dick Sweden? <laughs> Fuck is that? So, um, I get a lot of dick pics, right, all the time. Shocking. <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> And um, on like on my Snapchat, I get them all the time, and I barely ever respond because they're usually just so average or <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I only <laughs> I only respond if it's like very very small. Then I'm about to like blow your shit up and make fun of you. Nice. Which I probably shouldn't because I feel like they like it. They do. But I like it too. Like I'm into it. The the ones with like the really small dicks that they've. <laughs> resorted to a life of humiliation because what what choice do they have to be honest so um so you're going to sweden for some big ass dick so i i either respond if it's really small or it's like really big so i get this really big one right so i write back and i don't even remember what i said at this point but we used to start talking back and forth whatever and he's all the way in sweden which I don't technically know on a map where that is. It's in um, Europe. <laughs> but I know it's not close to me. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> so if ever one day I get to go to Sweden, there's like this ginormous dick waiting for me, and I'm excited. Because I plan to go there at some point. <laughs> Sweden got some nice fucking bitches, too. Like some of the most beautiful women in the fucking world. I, I would love to go my damn self. So if you ever want to go over there and... Let's go. We should go together. I'm just go on a big fuck tour. I'm down. <laughs> Let's do it. I'm fucking okay. down. Um, okay. <laughs> my notes are hilarious. Misuse of memes. Um, yeah, people... <laughs> I don't know if people do this to you or not, but people will send me... Like my own memes, like to me, to like get me to do stuff for them. Does that make sense? Somewhat, yes. Like they'll send me a meme, like that's something about like, oh, I always do as I'm told, or something like that. And then they'll be like, send nudes, and I say, pay me money. And then they say <laughs> <laughs> that they send me that meme, and I'm like, no, 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 that's not how it works. <laughs> One of my biggest pet peeves with people that sent because people's that's one of the reasons I don't open DMs on Instagram because once they're open, you can't close them. Yeah. And these motherfuckers will send meme after meme after meme. And if it's not my meme, I got to be completely honest with you. I don't care. I don't want to <laughs> see it. And if it's not like somebody that I follow or fuck with, I don't care. But then again, if it is somebody I follow and fuck with, I still don't want to see it because I already seen it. <laughs> Stop sending me memes. <laughs> Send me your vagina. <laughs> that is all. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I get that, the misuse of memes. Ooh, butthole glow sticks. Oh, what is that? I had, okay. I had a first. <laughs> this girl sends me the snap. Um, the first snap, she's like, She's fucking herself, and I can see in her hand, like, she's got this multicolored something, something in her hand. She's, like, fucking herself with it. I was like, oh, that's weird. And then she pulls it out of her fucking pussy, and it's, like, all these, you know, like, the straw-sized glow sticks? Yeah. It was a handful of them. Oh, my God. Yeah, all different colors. She pulls them out of her pussy, so then they, like, spread out. I was like, oh, man, that's better than effects. That's fucking amazing. Well, then the second snap, she was fucking her ass with that shit. And I was oh like, girl, God. where do you live? That was, that's I'm trying really to taste cool. the fucking rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, she was like, I hope that's a first. I was like, fuck, yeah, that's a first. Nobody has You're fucked. You're going to get so many of those now. Fuck, it, it, they're amazing. So send them. It's cool. It's cool, I promise. It was fucking amazing. <laughs> fucking her ass with all these fucking glow sticks. I was impressed. That's really cool. It was really cool. I was really impressed by it. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought I'd share it. <laughs> what else we got on here? What is freshly waxed? Do you get your pussy waxed? Huh? 
Do you do you wax your pussy? Oh no, I'm too scared. Oh no. <laughs> too scared. <laughs> I'm terrified. I'm way too terrified. Hey, I don't blame you. Because anytime if somebody asks about men and shaving, like women are always like, Oh, just wax. Bitch, what? We're not putting any <laughs> hot wax and ripping anything out around it's kinda like the vasectomy thing. It's not happening. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not doing it, and I know women. <laughs> women hate men, you know, deep down inside. I'm gonna let some bitch put that shit on me and rip some shit. I get the fuck out of here. <laughs> so, um, obviously, it's you know, well, you've never had it done, but um, have you never had it done? I've never had it. No. Okay. Gonna have Although it. I've thought about it, and I I know people that could do it for me, but I'm scared. I'm just really scared. Mm. I see something in your future. <laughs> um, no, but one of the, one of the things that I, like, I'm a sick fuck. <laughs> and one of the things that I love to do. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, and you love a quick fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I like my dick suck. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> So, like, any time a chick that I'm, like, fucking with or talking to or whatever, if she happens to just, like, we just happen to be talking at that point in time in her day or whatever, and she's like, I just got done waxing my pussy or just got my pussy waxed. Apparently, this shit is sore for, like, hours. So if you catch them in, like, the first three to five hours, they're still really fucking sore. And it happened, like, a few, few days ago. This chick was like, I just waxed. She said, I just waxed half my pussy. I couldn't even finish. <laughs> oh, my God. Because <laughs> it hurt so bad. And I fucking, I texted her and I said, you're going to FaceTime me right now. And you're going to fucking grab a sandal. And you're going to fucking beat your fucking pussy until I come. I've, oh do, I've done this God. several times with several women. <laughs> It's very sadistic. It's, I know. God damn, is it hot. (laughs) Oh, my God. And she was, like, on the way to work. And I knew she was on the way to work. And I was like, I don't give a fuck. Just sit the fuck down. You're going to take care of this real quick. She's damn near in tears by the time I got off. (laughs) And then she's texting me from work. She's a bartender. She was like, this is really painful. I'm really (laughs) sore. Blah, blah, blah. I don't give a fuck. (laughs) (laughs) That's kind of the point. <laughs> oh my god! So, like, any any dudes out there looking for some ideas, <laughs> things to do, <laughs> add that one to your list. <laughs> oh my god! So, I think you should look into getting your pussy. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that you told me that, <laughs> yeah. Um. What else we got in here? Oh, I got to tell you. Ever since we talked about on that one episode, the girl that um, found me through the podcast. Mm-hmm. People are coming out of the fucking woodworks. Like, that's how I found you. Like, through your podcast. That's how I found your social media. I'm like, for real? Like, a lot of people are telling me this. So that's, you know, that's a good sign. I I would have to, I would think, you know. Um. Yeah, keep telling your friends about our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's going good. It seems to be, definitely. Um, yeah, so. Uh, what else we got in here? I got a comment of the week. Ooh. But it's not from my Instagram because nobody comments on that. <laughs> it's from my Facebook. <laughs> Um, so I posted a little meme that said, um, don't waste your money buying me flowers, buy me sex toys instead, mm. or something like that. And one of the comments say, why do I have to buy her a sex toy if I exist? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Jesus. Like, come on, Right? Man. Like, that's the best. You are the problem in the world. You right there. Yo, no. Listen, hold on. Let me find this shit. Because <laughs> I had a similar situation 
just yesterday, this dude fucking messages me on Snap, and he's like, yo, so I need a little advice. Hold on, let me pull my reading finger out. <laughs> With your latex glove. <laughs> <laughs> my girl's pussy is really sensitive, so I love eating pussy and sucking it. But when I do, or when I do it the way that I like, she says it hurts. I honestly don't think it's too much because it's worked on a lot of women just fine and got, first of all, don't ever use this terminology, got the big O. Um, so what do you have advice-wise, by the way? <laughs> I found your snap a couple weeks ago and got on the podcast, whatever. And I'm like, I'm, I was like, do you, like, just reread what the fuck you wrote, dog. Just reread what you wrote. The fuck are you talking about? It works on other girls. Motherfucker, I got news for you. Everybody's different. Everybody's different. If her if if the person she was fucking before you liked it, their fucking balls scratched and teeth all up on their dick, and she said, Don't worry about it. Everybody else likes it. <laughs> so it's cool. <laughs> like, come on, man, use some fucking common sense over here. Like, everyone likes it. Everyone likes their dick suck different. Everyone likes their pussy eating different. You got to fucking figure that shit out. You got to be in tune with the person. And you should be able to figure that out without them having to tell you, you know, don't do it that way. <laughs> this motherfucker said, I don't think it's too much. <laughs> Can you feel her clit? Do you feel that when you're eating her fucking put? Like, get, come on, man. Come on. That reminds me. There was a guy on my snap. Um, that was talking about like, I guess like what kind of blowjobs he likes, and he said that he likes like dry, like super dry. What the fuck does that mean? Uh, I don't know. Like not. How is that possible? I th- I'm, I'm pretty I... sure that's called a hand job. <laughs> I just think he wants just like I don't know. I don't know. He doesn't want like spit everywhere and like <sighs> choking and gagging. That he doesn't want that. So he wants a very nice, neat, proper. Spitless blow jelly. I, I, I was just like, I was so, con- I was just as confused as you. I'm like, I could never, I couldn't be able to please him. There's no way. I don't, how to, I don't know how to do that. Well, I mean, at the amount of weed you smoke, I, I would imagine <laughs> you can get the cotton mouth thing down. You just have to suck dick with cotton mouth. I've done it before. It goes away in a little bit. All you have to do is gag. Oh, I was about to say, all you got to do is get in the back of the throat real quick. Spit comes right yep. the fuck back. Right out. Yeah. Oh, man. I'll tell you. So, I don't think, I don't know. No, it wasn't last week. It was the week before. I'm fucking with this chick. And um, I told everyone that I would, I would put out this new... Why is the sound all in this? I would tell about this new little trick that that I learned recently. This chick's sucking my dick, and she's, like, legit just sucking the head of my dick in, like, hard as fuck while, like, moving her tongue around or whatever. And, <laughs> and this is on video. <laughs> I don't know what this bitch did, like... <laughs> Basically, when I was about to come, I was like, I told her to, to, and she was basically just sucking the hole, like the hole, like went right, right around the hole of my dick. I was like, suck it hard as fuck, and she did, but she was also like rubbing her tongue, like in between the dick hole at the same time, mm-hmm. and <laughs> while I'm coming, I hear myself make a fucking noise that I'd never heard before. Oh, God. <laughs> That's exactly what I thought. I was like, yo, what the fuck was that? You don't make that noise. What are you doing? What was the noise? I, I can't even, like, uh, I'm not going to try to replicate it. Um, <laughs> it was just. Yeah, well, explain it. Was it like a high pitch? Like, eh! like, what was it? Yeah. Was that it? Yeah, it was kind of high pitched. <laughs> okay. She was like, I want to see that video. I was like, bitch, I'm deleting that video. <laughs> that video cannot exist. <laughs> like Just mute it. Have it with no sound. It was, I can't even replicate it. It was so, it was so fucking ridiculous. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it definitely got a hell of a reaction out of me. Um, 
it's kind of like a twist on the dick old trick, so give that one a try, because to make me make sounds like that is kind of rare. <laughs> like I said, I'd never heard a sound like that come out of my mouth before. Um, so yeah, give that a whirl. It was fun. Um, <laughs> what else we got here? I feel so weird with these gloves on. <laughs> what are all these big ass fucking some dude today told me he was going to send you a picture of his feet just to fuck with you and that, oh god and damn that's it. and that's why i have the best followers in the fucking world um oh this one this is one that you sent what i don't know if you probably can't see it because i didn't send you like the pictures right i just send you screenshots yeah Okay, so it says, okay, I've got a question for the podcast, by the way. I was wondering how you deal with or what your opinion is on guys just randomly groping women in public, ass grabbing, etc. I was just wondering how you react to a guy doing it to a woman in your company. Also, does yes sir, daddy sir deal with it when it happens to her? I'll let you go first. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> if, I mean, I have experienced this. If, <laughs> when I go out with my friends, I'm like the... Hot one, we already I established just, that. I just want to say I am not a cock block, okay? <laughs> if my friend is down with you, go for it. If she's not, though, I'm going to make sure that you know it. Like, I am like the bodyguard. Of my group when we go out. Like, that's just what... That's my role. Like, that's what I do. I I, I want to witness that. <laughs> so... You seem far too timid for something like that. Oh, no. I am. I am not messing around. <laughs> but, like... Yeah, if I go out and if something's happening to me or one of the my, like, friends that I'm with, I instantly get physical with the guy i am up in his face i'm pushing him one time i punched a guy right in the face because <laughs> he touched my friend hmm. that's nice like i am on that shit i don't care what do you do when it happens to you same thing hmm. fair i think that's fair um if anybody had the balls to do that in front of me while i'm with a bitch i'll fuck him up I will fuck them up, period. Like, keep your fucking hands to yourself. It's just is yeah. what it is. Um, even if I witnessed that shit, I would probably still fuck somebody up. To be completely honest, I like fucking people up. <laughs> <laughs> and if you give me a reason, I'm going to fucking take it. <laughs> I just do. <laughs> so, that's my answer to that. <laughs> um... Yeah, I think people should keep their fucking hands to themselves. Um, unless, you know, you, you know, just keep your fucking hands to yourself. Um, <laughs> let's see. I'm trying to remember what these are. But you you so know my... about the open relationships or prostitutes? Uh, yeah, I do. The open relationship thing, I don't know how it came about. <laughs> But I get it a lot. People are always like, well, you know, do you ever see yourself settling down? All this blah, 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 blah. And I'm always like, no. Well, why don't you just try an open relationship? Like, Why? <laughs> like, I, it, it, to me, it doesn't, like, it's an oxymoron, open relationship. Like, Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. Why, why would I call it an open relationship when I could just be fucking you and fucking whoever else I want as well? Like, exactly. it just doesn't, and I know it works for some people, but like, it doesn't make sense to me. If I'm, if I'm going to actually be in a relationship, like I'm going to be in a relationship. Yeah, I you know, agree. It, you know, I, I, I don't know. It just doesn't make sense to me. And it's just not something I would do. Mm -hmm. Kind of like a regular relationship. <laughs> <laughs> um, the prostitute thing. I vaguely remember somebody. I don't remember, to be honest. <laughs> I think my only point was that. Were you making a to do list for yourself? Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Pro 
prostitute check. <laughs> oh. I really don't remember, but obviously somebody asked me about something about prostitutes, but I don't remember if it was a woman asking about men or whatever. But uh, the only thing I really wanted to say about it is I, I don't know any guy that I know personally that hasn't fucked a whore. Hasn't fucked really? Whore. Absolutely. Oh, my God. You just blew my mind. That's Absolutely. terrible. I know dudes that lost their virginity to fucking hookers. Oh, my God. And when I get these dudes that are, like, in their Please 20s. Please tell me that's not true. Oh, it's true. Oh, my God. It's true. That's um, disgusting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is what it is. Um, but oh, my God. Anytime some dudes, like, in their 20s and hit me up, like, I'm a virgin. What should I do? First of all, go get laid. Go fuck a hooker. <laughs> at, least, at least get it over with and get it done. Like, go fuck a hooker. Get some confidence. Become a hooker monger. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Get it in. <laughs> no, seriously. I, I know. <laughs> I got to be careful about how I say this. Um, in case this person's... Somebody or other listens to this. Um, hmm. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I really have to be careful. Like, I can't... I have a friend... I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say where, what country this is in, or whatever. But like, I thought of you immediately when he was telling me this shit. And he's and like, me. "Yeah, you'll see why in a second. So he's telling me about this, you know, trip he's about to take, and he's like, you know, there's this other place you can go to, and you go to this place, and basically it's like a fucking whorehouse. But it's like you pay the entrance fee to go in, and then like that entrance fee gets you this, and they're basically like. You sit in a chair and you've got fucking all these whores around you, and they're just like massaging you from head to toe. <laughs> and this is why I thought about you. I knew it. Okay. Because not only they're massaging you from head to toe, they'll sit there and fucking Q-tip your ear at the same time. <gasps> right? Oh. Right? My God. Right? I was like, dog, you got you got room for that? You got room in that trip for that trip? <laughs> you buy a ticket. <gasps> Right? You got like four or five bitches fucking rubbing you head to toe and a bitch cleaning and your ears. Oh what? my God. <laughs> he was oh like, Yeah, God. and then you know, you pay a little extra and then you pick a whore and you go to it. I'm like, no, 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 we cool. I just want the ears just I just want this. I just want my ears cleaned. <laughs> yes, let's just do this. That's all. <laughs> One I, hour. Right. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, um, Every, everyone I know, every guy I know has slept with hookers, and a lot of them multiple hookers, so. It's, Whoa, that's insane. That's really crazy to me. I did not know that, and I didn't want to really know it, but now that I know it, I can't unknow it. Actually, I'm probably going to forget in, like, 20 minutes. <laughs> probably. It sounds, We're good. <laughs> sounds like you. <laughs> so, yeah. What's period sex? What's that about? I, I can't remember. People always, God damn it. People always ask about period sex. Um, they always they always want to ask if I'm into period sex. It, for me, it just depends on the girl. I'm not fucking just anybody on their period. I'm not a huge fan of blood um, involved in sex, especially when my penis is involved in that blood. Um, but depending on the girl, like I'll fucking check on her period for sure. Oh. It just depends on the girl. <laughs> What? I just saw one. I don't know why I thought it was funny. It was you put ending lives. Alright, we're not gonna talk <laughs> we're not gonna talk about that. And then you're like, I don't know why I put that. I don't remember what that's about. I looked at it the next day, I was like, huh. What was that about? <laughs> Another thing on your to-do list. Yeah, ending lives. <laughs> Prostitutes ending lives. You're a narcissist. You are a serial killer. You have latex, and latex gloves, gloves in my toy bag. <laughs> what the hell? We figured you out. I mean, I think we should change. The, I think we should change the format of this podcast and become like <laughs> investigators that solve um, cold cases. Yes. 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 I love that. Let's do that. (laughs) (laughs) 
Okay, we could do that. <laughs> Just one episode, one cold case, one time. I'm down. I'm down. Okay. Okay. Should we just solve? Yes. Should we solve John Bonet Ramsey murder? Yes. We should solve it, right? Yes. In one episode. In one episode. I think we can do it. One cold case. Yeah, one think. time. Her brother did it. The end. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. We win. We win. Is, is there is there a um a a prize? What do they call it? <laughs> Is there a prize for figuring it out? Uh, a reward. That's what I'm. I, uh, is there a reward for figuring out? Oh, a prize. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? <laughs> like a cash reward, like a money reward. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I don't know. Actually, I'd rather just play the lottery this week instead of solving that because it can't be anything in comparison to the over billion dollars they're offering <laughs> through Mega Millions. That's insane. You know, I've never played the lottery ever in my life. And everyone's telling me, like, oh, when you buy it, you're going to have beginner's luck. Like, go and buy one now. Okay, well, that's not not, true. (laughs) I am not feeling it. I don't feel it in my gut. It's not the right time. Oh, you're going to feel it in your gut. (laughs) Um, (laughs) Did you buy tickets? I did last week. I bought, like, five tickets. I don't normally play lottery or any shit like that. Um but when it you know when it's a billion dollars yeah i'll I'll throw ten bucks at it you know take my fucking shot i mean it's a billion fucking dollars I won't like five hundred million I won't even play I won't, it's like it's peasant money I want a what billion the hell? I want a fucking billion dollars and if I'm gonna waste oh, my God. money if I'm gonna You're waste ridiculous. my money it's gotta be worth it You're ridiculous. for real I'm dead fucking serious too <laughs> Um, I probably will go buy a ticket tomorrow, though, since it's, like, over a billion at this point. Um, hmm. What is this screenshot that you sent? A big pussy? What is that? Um, What is the your turn thing? I don't know what your turn is. I said prostitutes. You said your turn. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> was I supposed to get a prostitute? Was I supposed to go get a prostitute? <laughs> are these screenshots from your Facebook page? Yeah, they are. That's not. That's not Instagram. Wait, this is from. These are screenshots from our chat. No, I'm obviously, but the <laughs> picture in the screenshot. Oh, it's Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's the only place I get comments, and even there, sometimes I don't. <laughs> but I posted a meme. This was another like comment like of the week, whatever. Well, I guess it was two weeks, so I had one for each. Anyway, um, I posted a meme that said, or so it's like a picture of someone of a guy like smoking, but it's not like a regular face. It's like a giant a- vagina, oh, yeah, and I then it. his asshole is the mouth, like where he's smoking. Nice. And it said something like, "When he said he would dominate you, but he didn't." <laughs> He didn't even slap you or choke you once or something. And someone legit, like, commented, what is that? They didn't, like, know what it was. Like, it was, like, sincere, like, what is that a picture of? And then I was just thinking, like, what are you that you don't know? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, What is that? You know what I mean? Like, how do you not know what that is? I know there's like 80 billion gender. No, there's not. To choose from right now, but no, like. No, there's not. There's only two. You should know what that is. There's only two. I don't give a fuck what anybody <laughs> says. There's only two. I, I know. I know. <laughs> I agree. I completely agree. There you can is. be whatever you want to be, but there's only two genders. I'm sorry. I will exactly. fight you. Like when you go to prison, what jail are you going to go to? <laughs> <Mailer? No. laughs> There's only two options in jail. Either way, you're fucked. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Quite literally. I'm trying... There was something... I can't... There was some post, and there was... Somebody said something really fucking funny. But I don't know if I can fucking find it. Probably not. People are fucking savage, man. These people in their comments talk so much shit to each other. It's ridiculous. Oh, my God. I know. It's hilarious. 
It's insane. I just had some girl, this was like in the last couple hours, um, she commented on a post and she tagged two other people. So I can tell from the profile picture, she's a you know, hot little piece of ass. So I went to her page and looked, and I went to the two other pages, and I, I commented on, I replied to her comment and said, I would sleep with two out of three of you. Have fun figuring that shit out. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, my God. Did they like it or reply? I don't, I don't. I don't. I don't ever go back and look at this shit. It's just like fucking with people. <laughs> oh, I want to know if they did. Um, what's the school shits? Oh, <laughs> yo. So, I, I seen this shit on Facebook, right? <laughs> yo, fucking fuck a school shooting. That's that's so nineteen nineties for real. <laughs> this fucking dude. I got mad respect for this fucking dude. He was bullied, right? This motherfucker goes to the cafeteria and puts horse tranquilizer, or no, sorry, horse laxatives. Oh, I saw that video too. In the fucking lemonade. Yo. That's cool. That's savage. Like, <laughs> you know, that's something you can't, yo, you, you, you shit yourself in the cafeteria. You can't come back from that ever. They were shitting everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> that was disgusting. Yo, I got respect for that dude. I do. That was disgusting. That was so gross. It was so gross. There was shit everywhere. Shit and puke everywhere. It yeah. was gross, but yo, I respect the shit out of that dude. Yo, he got his he like he got the motherfuckers. Don't be oh, yeah, don't that's fuck way better you. than killing people, for yeah, sure. Yeah. This way you probably aren't gonna get any jail time is a great video. Uh no, we had to die, you know. And they probably learned their lesson. <laughs> I would assume <laughs> so. <laughs> that shit was amazing. I I was like sitting there screenshotting the video, like I gotta meme this shit. <laughs> it's <was> so <laughs> fucking amazing. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't do that. <laughs> I wanted it to be over. I didn't even watch the whole thing. I watched I didn't like, watch the whole thing either, but I definitely just a little bit and I was like, Okay, I can't take this anymore. <laughs> I get the idea. It's it's bad. <laughs> it's so bad. bad. And, and everyone in the video has got their head down. And they're just like crying. <laughs> I want to know. What Panties at their ankles, <laughs> bent yeah. over in the hallway, <laughs> in a puddle of shit. Woo. Ew. I oh, know. God. I'm having flashbacks. To what? <laughs> oh, to the video? <laughs> or, to watching or something that video. personal. <laughs> oh, yes. No, to watching that video, it was terrible. Oh my gosh! Um, I actually got this message um, just before I came in here, and it was about the podcast. So I figured I'd read it. The girl says, "Actually dripping listening to your podcast. Had to get my bunny out. I'm hoping she meant her rabbit vibrator, and not like an actual bunny, because that would be like weird." But then again, I know some of my followers are into some weird <laughs> shit. So, um, but I just wanted to give her a little shout out. Um, so, Sophie Lynette, the next time you're listening to our podcast, I want you to dig in that drawer of yours and pull out the big fucking dildo you got in that motherfucker and shove it up your ass and fuck your ass until you come or cry. Okay? For the next episode. All right? Thanks for listening. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't really got much else to be honest. <laughs> um, the ring, the ringtone thing. I can't be in here this week because this fucking guy is sick, or could be, or just whatever. I refuse to come back after today, <laughs> so I will get the ringtone thing done in the next two to three weeks. But I can't do it this week. Um. I mean, I guess we should tell them, like, I'm coming to meet you. Don't yeah, get, don't that's get quiet exciting. now, bitch. I'm shy. I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm gonna make it horrible for you. I like gonna torture the <laughs> shit. I like. I'm gonna play to all your your shyness and everything. You can't even talk right oh, now. God. Jesus Christ. Are you having a panic attack, bitch? Yes. <laughs> oh, I kind of like that. 
I'm going to add no. that into my, into my torture repertoire, giving women panic attacks. <laughs> this is, I don't know if that's good or bad. This is really fun to watch. No, it's not. Oh, God. No. There's nothing worse than a bitch go, having a panic attack. Jesus Christ. <laughs> nothing worse. Unless she's pregnant. I hate panic attacks. That's worse. <laughs> um, I, I have not ever had one, so I don't... I don't even know what they're like, but I've watched them many times, and they don't look fun. Um, so we're going to record, I think we're going to record um, an episode or two while I'm out there. Um, I'm going to force you, for anyone that doesn't know, like, this fucking asshole cock monster over here has never eaten crab. I know. Just a fucking peasant. Um, are you sure you don't have a droid? <laughs> I don't have a droid. You know that. She's disgusted by fucking, by the thought of eating crab, which, <laughs> as most people know, is quite the delicacy. Um, so I'm going to force you. You love crab. I do. I eat it all the fucking seafood. time. Seafood. I love seafood. Oyster. Period. Uh-huh. I love it. So I'm going to force <laughs> her to fucking eat crabs um, while I'm out there. Maybe I'll videotape it because even if she's not on the video and I'm just listening to her freak out, it's, it'll probably be hilarious. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she's going to have a panic attack <laughs> in the restaurant. I can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, I'm jerking off under the table. People are looking at me weird. Uh, um so no, that would be cool. It would be cool to finally meet your fucking ass and people can stop asking, uh, have you ever met her, blah, 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 whatever. So, And I think um, we're going to shoot a couple episodes while I'm out there. And I think we're also going to have uh, Queens Over Bitches come and do an episode with us since you guys kind of live close to each other. So that should be fun um, and awkward or hilarious. I don't know. So. Anyway, <laughs> what time is it? Yeah, I am very good at being awkward, so my vote is awkward. Oh, I, I know. I can tell. You got that shit down. <laughs> you got it down. <laughs> oh, you know, so I, think, I think we should be better about plugging our social media at the end of this. If so many people are finding the podcast through, um, through friends or whatever and not through our social media, I think we need to be better about promoting our social media um maybe not every time but every few times especially especially with you right now not having a fucking account (laughs) it's probably not a bad idea like what do i advertise which account the one that sucks (laughs) yeah yeah (laughs) i mean where else are they gonna find you you know and once you get your other account back you just fucking you know make a post um so why don't you just go ahead and do that right now? Okay. Or not. So I'm... <laughs> <laughs> No, I'll do it. I'll do it. On Instagram, I'm yes sir, daddy sir, with underscores in between every word, except for at the end, it's two underscores. At the end, right? Does that make sense? Yes. Un- at the end. Underscore under every, after every word, except the last word has two underscores. After it. Huh? <laughs> don't, don't worry. It's it's taken care of. <laughs> oh, okay. Thanks. <laughs> what about Snapchat? Um, it's yes sir underscore daddy sir. I hear I she think. loves dick pics. I mean if they're big. She may o- she may open it and not respond to you. The biggest dick I ever saw was in Sweden. <laughs> Jesus, how big was his dick? It was literally so big. Like, it was like. Okay, literally long. so big doesn't was, tell me anything. <laughs> okay, it's like, it was like at least. Like at a the forearm? Very least, like, like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> like, so big. And so, like, girthy. It looked very nice. <laughs> That's nice. That's lovely. <laughs> um, 
You can find me on Instagram at your underscore underscore fuckboy. Um, on Snapchat, your dash fuckboy. Or you can just go to my website and buy some shit, and that's just yourfuckboy.com. <laughs> so, have at it. <laughs> All right, let's wrap this up and get out of here before I get sick. Okay. <laughs> People are going to message me this week and be like, is she high again? Jesus Christ. Sorry, I thought I had something I wanted to say. I can't remember what it was. So you are high. <laughs> I'm always high. That's nice. Your employer must I love that. Cal- <laughs> I live in California. What do you expect? I don't expect anything. <laughs> I have to be high to deal with all the goddamn traffic all the fucking time. Is it bad up there, too? <laughs> yes. Yes. I thought it was just L.A. and San Francisco. Well, it's, it's not nearly as bad as those places, but it's pretty fucking annoying. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> I guess I'm like, find out. Like, you're not out. going the speed limit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you just have road rage. Well, I have, like, a lead foot, like, you wouldn't believe. Well, maybe you would believe. I don't know. (laughs) Hmm. That's interesting. Anyway, (laughs) enough about me. (laughs) Wrap it up, lead foot. Sweet sweet dreams. Nighty night. Dream of that pussy being tight. All right. You know, maybe we'll go live when we're together, too. Obviously, we won't show our faces because oh, we just like fucking with you all. But um, maybe we'll do that because that's always fun. Um, yeah, I don't know. We, it should be it should be interesting. Um, that whole little weekend should be interesting. Anyway, um, probably won't be another episode next week, but should be one the week after. Um, and then things should be pretty regular after that. So... Uh, I guess we'll talk to you next time, motherfuckers. And remember, always be a good girl for daddy. You fucking whore. Bye-bye.